Hello trombones. I hope that you guys are having a great week and hope that you're doing really well. Uh, so today's lesson, we are going to do a little bit more review than we've done in the past. Um, as we get further in the book, it becomes more and more important that we make sure that the stuff that we've already learned, we still remember really well and still really fresh because that's all the foundation for everything that we're going to be able to do as we move forward. All right. So I know some of you at home are probably thinking, oh, these videos are going too fast or these videos are going too slow. Or maybe some of you are hopefully thinking these are videos are going the right speed. Um, but it's better for us to make sure we're all really, really solid on like the fundamentals, like the rhythms that we've learned, the notes that we've learned, the note names the positions, making sure we have the right posture. We will still continue to do some new songs each each week, but from now on, we're gonna incorporate more review stuff in there too, just to make sure that we're all still like remembering this stuff that we learned weeks ago. All right, awesome, let's get started. So first thing, grab your mouthpiece. <coughs> Remember, no, I almost dropped it. No death grips on our mouthpiece. One finger or two fingers. Good, do some tonguing. Awesome. Cool, go and put that mouthpiece in. Guys, hopefully all of you at home, your slides are working okay. Um, if they're like really hard to move and you don't have any cream or oil or anything in your case, please email me and let me know. I want to try to get you something. Um, or I can give you, well, the problem is a lot of you have stuff, but it's at school. Like, we have stuff there at school for you, ready to give to you, but it's locked at school, sadly. Um, but we can see what I'm able to do with what I have here that I can try to send you. So just let me know if you need anything, okay, at home. All right, so... Let's do our warm up. So that means we're gonna do our three note scale. Three note scale we've been working on, all right? With our B flat, first position. Our C, all the way out in the sixth position. Remember, reach as far as your arm can go. But holding onto the slide still, no fingertips in our slide. We don't wanna lose the slide. So hold on to it, two or three fingers. Um, and then fourth position. Remember, fourth position right up here so that this metal is even with the bell. All right, so those are our four notes, and then our three notes. Ah, I can count. Three notes, and then we'll go back down. All right, here we go. We're going to play it with whole notes starting on our low B flat. Whole notes, please. One, two, ready, and... do the same three note scale but we're gonna do four quarter notes for each note of the scale and we're gonna make sure we're working on our tonguing here we go starting with our B flat again one two ready and that scale I'm breathing at the same time I'm moving my slide right so we'll play four quarter notes in first position and then I breathe but when I breathe I just try to breathe out of the corners of my mouth and I actually don't even lift my mouth off of the mouthpiece I just move my corners so I can breathe in and then I move my slide at the same time so it looks like this <laughs> Right, so as you're moving your slide, that's the perfect time to also breathe. All right, let's do it one more time, just going up the scale to the D. Um, and we're going to practice breathing through the corners of our mouth. So keep the front part of your mouth on your mouthpiece and breathe it under the corners as you're moving the slide at the same time. We'll do it slowly together. Ready, and... <laughs> So that's something that for trombone players is really important. When we're moving our slide, that's really a good time 
to get a good quick breath, all right? And in the next couple of weeks, we'll talk more about breathing in our music, all right? Cool, let's do our three note scale once more, one more time, except now with four quarter notes. Wait, that's what we were just doing, isn't it? Sorry, Whew, Never mind. Let's go on. Okay, let's review a few things really quick. So starting with our posture, let's make sure your feet are flat on the ground. You're sitting up nice and tall, all right? Our hand, let's, uh, so remember using your slide lock. Anytime you're not playing, put that slide lock on, especially if you're moving with your trombone. So if you're gonna get your trombone out of the case and come over to your chair, that slide lock needs to be on. Or when you're done practicing, Make sure before you go back to your case, you put that slide lock on. All right, I'm pointing over there because that's where my case is. All right, so that's what I'll be doing too. When I finish practicing, put my slide lock on and then I'll walk over to my case. All right, keep that slide protected. All right, left hand, thumbs up. Good thumb right here on the trombone. Make sure we're holding it correctly. All right, so one quick review. When you're putting it together, remember, left hand, this is my left hand. There's four letters in left. I'm gonna hold my bell with my left hand. There are four letters in bell. Left hand, bell, right hand, five letters, slide, right, uh, five letters, right? So, putting that together and then you lock, tighten that lock. Now, I've told you guys already at school before, but you might need to have a parent or someone help you tighten this. These are hard to tighten. When I was in fourth and fifth grade, those it was really hard for me to tighten too. You gotta get it right into this part of your hand. Urgh. All right, but don't tighten it all the way until you have it moved. So we have left hand bell, right hand slide, push it away from you to the 90 degrees, right? So that it should look without hitting it like this, right? So this is what your trombone should look like. We've got our 90 degree angle between the slide here and the bell here. Okay, so I turn it like this. You can see that 90 degrees, right? Awesome. Oh, very carefully move that back. All right, now once you have that 90 degrees, then tighten that up. All right, good. Thumb to here towards the mouthpiece, pointer finger, reach out. These fingers all underneath. Right hand holds that slide. Two or three fingers. We don't need all of them in a death grip, right? All right, awesome. So I'm going to take my slide off. And, oh, never mind, I'm going to put my slide lock back on. We're going to do some quick review with rhythms. So I'm going to show you rhythm. You tell me what it is. What is this? That is a whole note, and it gets how many beats? Four. Good, what is this? Half note, and it gets how many beats? Two. Good, what is this? Quarter note and it gets how many beats? One. All right, let's do our rest. What is this? Does it look like a hat or a hole in the ground? So if it looks like a hole in the ground, it is a whole rest and it gets how many beats? Four, and then this one is a half rest and it gets how many beats? Two. And then the last one, this is a quarter rest and how many beats? One. Okay, good, that was our rhythm review for the day. Now, let's review some notes. Um, once we uh, all go back to school, I will give you flashcards for trombone, all right? However, they're all at school. So, I pulled up some notes for trombone on my phone, and I'm gonna quiz you on these note names using my phone. So, this right here, let's just go over them first. This is called a uh, what kind of note? So it's got that little lowercase b, which means it's a flat sign, right? And it's on the second line up from the bottom. So that is a B flat. All right, the way we can remember the names of the lines, our staff, and for bass clef, remember we play bass clef right here. That's our bass clef, or also known as F clef, but we call it bass clef. All right, so we can remember the lines by good, Boys deserve fudge always. Or, wait, there's a good one. Giraffes bend down for apples. Oh, I like that one. Okay, so <laughs> giraffes bend. B, B flat, right? So that's our B flat. What is this? 
that is on a space, right? Not on the line, it's on the space. So all cows eat grass. That's how I remember the names of the spaces. All cows eat grass or all cars eat gas. Either one. All right, so there's our C. And then this one is a giraffe's bend down, D, right? So those are our three notes that we've learned so far. So let's see how you do on these. What is the name of this? It is a C. This is a D, B flat, C, B flat, D, B flat, D, C, D, and B flat. All right, awesome. Hopefully you guys are able to say those before I give you the answer. Um, but as we keep practicing those, hopefully they'll keep getting faster and getting easier to remember and to see and recognize right away. All right, so our B flat, Show me your position. Now we'll take our slide lock off. All right, position for B flat up here at the top, right? First position, B flat, good. Show me your position for C, reaching all the way out, C. Good, now show me D, C, D, B flat, C, B flat, C, B flat. D, C, and B flat. Okay, cool. We'll keep practicing that stuff. Now let's do a song for review. Let's look at, in our book on page eight, we worked on this one last week, um, the duet. Page eight, number 1.20, duet like this. I'm going to play the B part, and I want you to play the A part, because hopefully you've been practicing both parts, all right? And let's just play straight through it um, for a review. So I'll play the B part, you play the A part, all right? Here we go, from the beginning. One, two, ready, and... played that as a duet um, and hopefully it sounded pretty cool all right so guys if at all that was challenging you're like ah, I wasn't really ready for all that I wasn't I felt like I was rushing or that I couldn't keep up that just means you should go back to last week's video work on that a whole bunch more all right and so you can feel a lot more comfortable about, about that before you go on to this video. But if it felt good and you're ready to keep going we're gonna go on to the next song so let's take a look at 1.21 1.21, climbing higher. And guess what? We get to learn a new note. So let's take a look at that new note that we're learning. It is called a E flat. So just like the B flat, the E flat also has a little lowercase b. That is our flat sign, right? But the E flat looks different because it is on a space, right? So if we remember the names of our spaces, all cows eat. That is on the E line, or the E space, I guess. All cows eat grass. Eat. So that is an E flat. All right? And that is where our E flat is always going to be. That E flat, anyway. All right, so take a look at that song. Let's air band it first. Okay? Air band it with me from the beginning. E flat, we get to do a new position. So, can you guys show me D in fourth position? Show me where D is in fourth. All right, so remember, this part of the slide is lined up with the bell, right? That's where our slide goes. Okay, for fourth position, this is where we are. Now, third position is higher than fourth, right? So it's gonna come up, and actually we want our slide, this part that we hold of the slide, 
is just above the bell. So see where it is on mine? That is third position right here. Third position. It is up closer to first position, right? So it's first position. And then this is third position. And then we've got fourth position and sixth position. That's what we've learned so far, right? First, show me first. Show me sixth. Fourth. Third. Okay, this is third right there. Okay, guys, here we go. Let's air band this song starting in third position. Third, above the bell. Right here, above the bell. Here we go. Say the names of these notes with me as we air band them. Ready? And E flat, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. E flat, E flat, E flat, E flat. One, two, three, four. B flat. C, D, E flat. One, two, C, D, E flat. And then notice what's at the very end uh, over top of that E flat. It's got the dot with the line over it. That means it is a fermata. And it means to do what? Hold that note longer than normal. So we're gonna play that song now and make sure we have that fermata at the end. Okay, guys notice can you count with me from the beginning? One, we're counting measures, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Find the fifth measure. So this is the measure that has a half note B flat, the low B flat. That's the fifth measure, one, two, three, four, five. So it goes from B flat, steps up to C, steps up to D, steps up to E flat. What is that called? That is like your three note scale except it has the fourth note so we could call it our four note scale right so we now have a four note scale all right here we go let's play it from the beginning starting on our e flat one two ready go one two for more than four whenever you have that fermata, right? Just like that. Awesome. All right, guys, so we are actually running out of time here. So why don't we focus on that song for next week? You can start taking a look at the next one. We will play that next one um, next week for sure. But take a look at climbing higher and focus on that one and getting used to that E flat. Also making sure we're really, really comfortable with all those songs we've been doing before. And we're feeling good about, you know, the rhythms, the notes we've learned, um, our postures correct. All right, cool. So now that we are done, I want you to please go find a place that you can empty your water key. Make sure it is not over the nice floor at your house. Definitely not over carpet. Um, the best thing to do is find like a garbage can or newspaper or something like that or like an old towel. Um, use something like that to empty into. But make sure you do empty your water. You need to empty the condensation that's inside your trombone. So I'm going to go over to the garbage, empty this. So make sure you do as well. All right, guys. Have a great week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.